You are watching yet yeah, another episode of Eric Lehman's Shenanigans of 1977. It's Wednesday, Friday, or Saturday, and you know what those days mean. It's time for another AEW Event Center report for either Dynamite, Rampage, or Collision. And now, here is the host of the AEW Event Center Wrestling Report, New Bedford's version of Tony Schiavone, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode I'm Eric Lehman, Shenanigans, 1977, episode 1797. We're going to talk about AEW Dynamite, so let's get right to it. And um, Tony Schiavone was interviewing the Hurt Syndicate, that's MVP, Shelton Benjamin, and Bobby Lashley. And as they were addressing the Manchester, New Hampshire crowd, Swerve Strickland comes out, not in a very good mood. And he said, Bobby Lashley, full gear. And it seems like Lashley would accept the challenge. So, so it would be Swerve Strickland, Bobby Lashley at full gear. Orange Cassidy and Darby Allen took on Claudio Castagnoli and, and Pac, which, which now the group is now known as Death Riders. And uh, it ended up being no contest because Will Yuta, John Moxley, and Marina Shafir got involved attacking the team of Cassidy and Darby Allen. But then the conglomeration Tomohiro Ishii. Kyle O'Reilly and Mark Briscoe chase off the Death Riders. Renee Paquette interviewed Ricochet about who Ricochet's partner is. I can't tell you. And Ricochet's he got to wait like everybody else. The Hurt Syndicate interrupts Ricochet, and they were all kind of looking at him and and all that, and they're check and they're checking up on Ricochet and something like that. And a fight without honor trios matchup. Um, the conglomeration, like again, Mark Briscoe, Tomohiro Ishii, and Kyle O'Reilly went up against the Learning Tree. Chris Jericho, the Redwood, Big Bill, the Bad Apple, uh, Brian Keith. And during the matchup, Big Bill and Kyle O'Reilly were brought on all over the, all over the uh, arena. And um, they had a matchup in the end. Tomohiro Ishii pinned pin the Ring of Honor world champion Chris Jericho. In that matchup, which uh, makes everybody laugh, um, Adam Cole went up against. Uh, actually, uh, John Moxley, along with Wheeler Yuta, addresses Orange Cassidy after the mat after the match, and saying he still don't understand, he still don't get it, yada yada yada. Adam Cole went up against um, Malachi Black. Adam Cole did pick up the victory, and. Cole addresses um, MJF, and MJF calls calls up someone. And Renee Paquette interviewed Jay White, and Adam Page interrupts the interview by attacking White, and they were both heading to the arena. Uh, Page was about to hurt White with a chair, but then Juice Robinson ta uh, takes it away from him, and Jay White addresses Page. It seems like they want to kick up the matchup, um, kick it up a notch for the 2300 arena and uh, Renee Paquette interviewed uh, Chris Statlander and then Statlander and was about to uh, leave a car almost hits her and then they saw the um, uh, the camera um, pen, uh, where am I here anyways yeah, uh, to uh, Chris Statlander, who was almost on the floor. And then Camille and Mercedes Monet are arguing. Camille gets out of the car. And uh, Statlander attacks. Um, uh, Stat uh, Statlander attacks Camille to keep her away. And uh, she goes. She turns around, goes after Robin Leach. Uh, Mercedes Monet, excuse me. Why is it Robin Leach? What? Anyways. And um, and then they got finally got separated after all the, all that chaos um, chaos. So um, a patriarchy addresses a Manchester uh, New Hampshire crowd about why he attacked Taz. Hook comes out. Is he very explained? Because I'm gonna have a very short temper. And then. Um, And 
And uh, so, uh, and so as they're about to explain it, so Hook says, uh, "Hook says, you better come out." And he says, "You got, you got, you better explain a good reason." And but then when he, and then when Christian Cage mentioned, "I wish your father was dead," uh, Har- um, Hook attacks the patriarchy. Uh, the patriarchy security, and that's because the uh, Christian Cage escapes along with Nick Wayne, Kip Sabian, and Mother Wayne. Alex Marvez interviewed Don Callis, and he had a phone call that MJ was made to, left a message <coughs> with some money in a ring. He said the, the other half of it is where you get it done. So, they said the first to win three wins in a row faces him at full gear. And then Jamie Hayter went up against Penelope Ford, and Jamie Hayter ended up winning that matchup. And returning to AEW next week, the lovely, the gorgeous, the Venus herself, the Empress Venus herself, the lovely Mina Shirakawa. She's coming back. And then Jim Ross, um, they had some footage on Kazushka Okada, the Rainmaker. And Jim Ross said nothing but good things about him. So that could be very helpful. And then Okada addresses being the intercontinent, I mean, being the continental champion, excuse me, and is determined to be, prove himself to be the best. Meanwhile, um, the main event tag matchup, as the Don Callis family is members of Proto Star, Kyle Fletcher, the Alpha, the Keshta, um, Konosuke the Keshta, who was accompanied by um, Don Callis. And um, I think my mind's going crazy. I don't know what the heck's going on. And um, Ricochet comes down and says, Hey, listen, my partner did some research that his contract with the Dallas Cowboys family, Don Cowboys family, has expired. And here comes Power Hogs Hobbs. Now, that decision, uh, that decision helped uh, Ricochet and Hobbs conquer the Don Cowboys family members to win and pick up the matchup. And then Kyle Fletcher decided to attack Ricochet after the matchup. But then Mark Davis comes out to confront Fletcher once again. A lot of push and shove. And a distraction. Did get uh, Mark Davis um, knocked out. And Lance Archer and Brian Cage was attacking was attacking Davis. Adam Colden comes out. Fights with Takeshi to the back. And then Will Ospreay, when they were about to uh, spike uh, Mark Davis with the screwdriver, Will Ospreay came out and goes after uh, goes after the starter pitcher, and that's how it is now. And Hobbs and, and Ricochet end up winning the matchup. So the element of surprise was there. That was the main key. Um, before we, before we, I conclude this video, I've got some big news. Uh, I have decided... Uh, since now I got Flashpoint and I was able to play the games from there. Um, I'm going to try to um, <clears throat> add Bumper Stumpers to the list of games that I would love to play. Along with the uh, the games you see me play almost every day. Um, to Sundays and call it Stumper Sundays. And I know I, I go on David's channel, David 3000 channel to do Patriots games. Maybe I, I do it in the morning, early before I go to church. Right afterwards. Now, speaking of church, as you know, um, a week from tomorrow will be the memorial service for the matriarch of our church, um, Reverend Beverly Resendiz, a co-founder of our church that I attended, the New Season Worship Center, and her husband, along with her, did find it when it was known as Church of New Testament. So, for next week, I will be working till 11 for the first four days, work my regular shift on Friday, and then have Saturday off. And possibly this Saturday, uh, possibly the sex, uh, 16th, I'll probably wake up early and I'll probably do some card sharks on Saturday that morning for you guys before heading to the memorial service. This will be a lot of people expected to be there. So that's a huge deal. 
And don't worry about Shania the Guard Cage. Does making a come is is thinking about making a comeback, and I'm thinking about doing that. And I was gonna wait until the uh, physical copy for Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection comes out. Once it does, I probably play play that. I probably, I think you know what it is Thanksgiving morning since I have Thanksgiving off. Um, Thanksgiving mornings when Shania Guard Cage will make its return. I made a promise about that. I'll have to you know set everything up. And uh, we'll get going with that. And that's the because Thanksgiving will be put taking place here at my house, and I'm really excited about it. So, so that's the news. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in to another episode. Um, to, uh, friendly reminder: tomorrow uh, we have Pressure Luck, and then Rant and Rave. We're gonna have some fun. So until the next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, take us home. That is all for today's episode. This is your announcer speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget Productions. And in association with a Raven Bow for Telepictures and Distribution. Thank you for watching today's episode. Tune in next time for another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. Goodbye for now.